Well, <laughs> once again, we're still here for the day. Yeah. It's warmed up a bit. I've managed to take my jacket off this time. <laughs> so now we've done your car, Steve. Now this is, as you know, is mine. Yeah, indeed. And I've had this quite a long time. I can't remember how many years, but probably somewhere around about 10 years or more. And um, obviously a Triumph Stag, 1977, uh, Mark II. And it's, um, well, it, it's a, a V8. Um, and would you like to have a look around it? Should yep. We show, should we show them? Should we show the V8? Yes. Of course, why Let's not? do that. Let's start with the V8. So, pop that bonnet for me. And there you go. So, as you'd expect, there's a V8, but it's from Electrogenic, so it's not a standard V8. This is um, V8 battery powered. Uh, and here we go. This is a, obviously a bright and goldy goldy colour, a bit like myself. Um, and in here we've got four batteries. One either side, two in the middle, and underneath there is a Hyper 9. Um, and then we've keep, kept a lot of the original features, all the original features really. It's got uh, power assisted, uh, servo assisted brakes, power assisted steering. Well, <laughs> we replaced the car, the engine that's famous for, or infamous for um, being not particularly reliable. And we replaced it with an incredibly reliable uh, Hyper 9 electric unit. Yeah, starts every time. It <laughs> starts every time. So again, you know, typical electrogenic car. Um, so what we've done is we've just repurposed all of the original dials. So fuel gauge uh, shows you the state of charge. Um, we have some uh, some nice electronics that drive the uh, rev counter directly from the uh, the Hyper 9 motor controller signal. Just drives like a, a beautiful Triumph Stag. I believe, though, to date it hasn't let me get inside it. <laughs> I will do one of these days. Once again, to, um, as, as not all our cars, but quite a few of our cars, we retained the original gearbox, which is a four-speed with, no, with overdrive, all drives as it would have done from the factory. Um, and then we move around to the back area. Um, this, yeah. obviously, is the boot, and um, we'll pop that up as well. So in there, there's your original boot space, but underneath there are three um, Tesla batteries as well. There's four in the back, in the front, and three in the back, keeping the car nicely balanced. Weight distribution is around about 50-50, and it, again, it drives lovely. It doesn't seem to have that snap, which people were scared of with the Triumph Stag. It's just, it handles nicely around the bends. I've been driving around the track today, and it drives like a dream. So, Steve. And uh, hidden away under this fuel cap is the charge point, as ever. So. Neatly fitted inside, um, so just fill it up the same place you always did. Um, and yeah, well that's about it. As I said, it, it drives lovely. Um, it's smooth. It's quiet. It doesn't break down. And um, you know, I'm feeling generous today. I'm going to let my mate Steve have a drive. Well, for a bit. the first time. For the first time. Okay. Go on, off you go. <laughs> I will do. And then, remember, Steve, 140 mile in that 140 mile range. Okay. Don't well, go further than that. <laughs> Have fun. Thank you. See you later.